propaganda machine. <laughs> Smart. Well, I like that. At least let the people know. Yes. Yeah. The issue is that we're not really getting many wins right now. <clears throat> but if I find them, I'll be sure to give them to you to spread out. Certainly. Yeah. But you are, you are very much right as well. The people are... Uh, how do I put this? They're starting to close ranks. And close ranks in the way that gets other people nervous. Humans with humans. Yeah, I heard about that. Hills. I've tried to get Marcus to get in there and try and, you know, install good ideals, but... I don't know how far that's going to carry. It's likely not. Not until we get these presumed of wins. It needs to be Nautis strong, not human strong or elves strong. We all need to figure that out. Hmm. Something to think about. But yes. It's up in the air at the moment. But I appreciate it. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. finally hear it from someone who's willing to tell me. And not just let me flail in the dark and try and figure it out on my own. No. We're in on this together, so... You're right. I, you know, it kind of feels like shit that you would already know, but then Torti reminded me that that's definitely not always the case. So I figured, you know what, if you're going to be involved, we're going to get you involved and we'll <clears throat> work together. Yeah. Well, truth be told, I have been feeling increasingly isolated, but I presume that's also not entirely a conscious action on you and yours' choice. No, definitely not. You've been dealing with a lot. We trust you, and right. yeah. No, I'll bring you in more. Oh. I am sorry. Well, I appreciate the apology. Thank you. In mm. that case, I will do all that I can. To change the narrative, or at least get people talking about something else, get them focusing on something else. Exactly. Thank you, Gerbon. Mm. If there's no need for me, I'm going to head on out and continue my duties. Of course. <sighs> Do as you need to. How's uh, Torty? I haven't really seen her much to do. The last time anyone saw her, she was riding off with the Inquisitor, and they haven't seen her since. I think Aegon followed them, but I haven't seen him since either, so now I'm not sure where they are or what happened. <sighs> what to do with her? She turned down a meeting with Vezrin to go with him, you realize. It's getting worse. Yeah. I'm trying to um, figure something out, but it's slow going. Vezrin's been um, different since he came back, apparently. She's pretty hurt by it. Yeah. I saw it in his eyes today. I don't know what happened to him. But it was bad. There's only so much punishment a man can take until he snaps. Poor guy. True. We just don't need him snapping at the wrong time. Or the wrong people. Mm. I'll keep an eye on him. Thanks, Go Bum. I do appreciate it. Mm. And thank you, Lord Earthheart, for everything. And they're gone. There's somebody, at least the Lord. Somebody who can get alcohol. Gerbon's coming out in a second. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Hope the night is treating you too well. How are you doing this fine night? Hmm. It's best as good as it can to be. Watch the crazy old man torment some poor people. 
watched Eve defuse the situation. Actually speaking, since I haven't been talk to you yet, have you ever figured out what uh, Herbaja warned you about? Yes, I did actually. Did you figure that out? Well, not figured out, but keeping our eyes open, you know. Good. Do you excuse me, you too. Have a great night. Mm. Don't forget to go to the bathhouse. Take care. Everything okay over there? Uh, yes. Guardsmen were just leaving us around. Kindly, gentlemen. Hmm. Uh, yes. The one at the gate. The one at the gate wants to talk to you. I see. Thank you, Lorelai. Next is the corner. Ba 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 ba. I will accompany you. Any news from the front, aside from what happened this morning? Uh, I sent a man up there. We got a patrol base set up at the top, overwatching the inn and the road. So, very good. We'll be able to do something with that. Sergeant Fenton. All right, Fenton. Stay civil. Yeah. Woman. Okay, since I finally got a chance to ask you. There's a few things I'd love to address. And it comes with... Uh, regarding the morale of the men. Yeah, speak plainly. Both, there's two issues. There's... Both involve you and your father. Now you'll forgive me for being... Long-winded. With this, however, I need you to understand from our point of view. Well. We're all soldiers. We're given orders and we're expected to carry them out without asking questions. It's what we're trained to do, after all. It allows us to focus on the objective at hand. We have other more important and intelligent people tell us the when, where, and why. All the soldiers on the ground only need to worry about the how. This works well. To a point. But it's falling apart. The Imperials came here with three heavily armed military ships, with roughly 1,500 to 2,000 capable fighting men. I never got the exact numbers. They brought with them advanced military weapons. Without combined forces and tactics, we should have made short work of the Robber Baron. However, this isn't the case. The men know about your family's past, where you're from, what was done. It's getting around that your father has been going out of his way to stifle the support of the Imperials. Some say it's out of spite. Others say it's for political reasons. Not wanting to let the Imperials have any sway after the fight is over. The true reason is irrelevant. What matters is the cost. You both are sacrificing the lives of the few good Radad men left for whatever political gains that'll benefit you. These aren't your men. Don't forget. Men are sent every day to fight the very same people they grew up and trained with all their lives. 
It's easy to kill someone you don't know. Harder for someone you do. And absolutely soul crushing when you've known the men for many years. When you lock eyes to fight, you can see it. The desperation, sadness, the regret for the side they've chosen. Most of the town guards that defected did so because of the Capitano. They were unable to stand by as that man continued his reign of terror on this town. And now, they're stuck on the other side of the fence, unable to clamber back over because of the actions they've taken. Now, onto the matter that happened a few days ago. I have soldiers asking why the Erdhart saw it fit to take men deep into the woods, away from the fighting. Only had this had them slaughtered for some vague thing to aid the war effort. Many men, including myself, are no longer accepting such a vague answer. So you better explain what's going on so I can keep the soldiers under control. It's okay. okay. You're still talking to a lord. It's okay. Perhaps most important of all, I want you to look back on all the dead that were discovered a few days ago. Heads up. With. Patrol. Yo. Has there been what any the more heart? offensives? There's been offensives all throughout the day. Mostly ranged attacks and besiegement, but we are still holding for now. Listen. Lord Derhart, your father has requested your presence. Very well. I will mount up. We would advise against it. The robber baron's men have been picking off what he thinks are messengers. On foot is safer. Very well. It takes a while, but better this way. I see. I will answer your questions when I get back. Understood. We don't want more men to escort you. If you want to come along. We don't want to make too much of a target of ourselves. His orders were very clear. I would have brought a contingent if it was up to me. I can move quieter by myself in the dark without the torch. Maybe if I move up alone. Order are we are to be your escorts. Please don't be difficult. After you. The night is quiet. You know that you're going to be approaching the front lines. Anything could happen, but right here, right now, at the very least, you don't see anything, you don't hear anything. It's just <sighs> calm. Kyler with a 19. As you'll walk up, you'll see 
It's almost imperceptible, but you just catch it. It looks like the guard in front is kind of slipping out of his boots a little. Just a little, though. With another 19, you look at the guard on the left, and it looks like he's walking a little off. Like he's trying to widen his legs enough to keep his lower half of the armor where it should be. said my father sent you? <clears throat> that is correct. Where is he exactly? He is currently overseeing the front lines. Where? Along one of the newly erected palisades facing the bridge to the cross key. That right. <clears throat> yes, why do you ask? Just curious. Didn't uh, send a missive or anything? Sent you two. Missives can be intercepted. Loyal men will keep their mouths shut before spilling secrets. Do you have any proof that you came from him? A sigil. Anything of the sort. I cannot hear you. Say again. A sigil. Anything of the sort. He understands security. Oh, Lord Erhard. We were sent with all haste and speed. On foot. Your father is waiting for you. Is there a reason for this? No, I just feel a little safer if I had one of my knights with me. I'll go get him. There is no need. We're almost there. Where did he go? No fucking idea. Light the other torch and look. <sighs> Come out, you little bastard. Do yourself. He might be running back to town to get the guard. Seems cowardly enough. We should get out of there. Come on. We're based. We'll lay a trap. Whatever patrol comes, we'll deal with it. Tell the others to take the horses and go. So those weren't from my father. Nah, we assumed so. That's why we followed you. Yeah, I wanted to be sure though. Hey, 
You guys want to let him go? Or do you want to fucking him? drop him? I want to fucking drop him. What let's, do you think, Fenton? I've been in action all day. I can get an easy shot since they have a torch. Let's, let's go get him, huh? Let's drop him. Let's get him quick. Let's... All right, line up with the shotter. Get him quick before they get to the others. I'll get him from behind. Got it. We'll keep the focus on him. I know you're we're escorting the young lord. Have you seen him? He ran off saying we didn't have something to prove who we were, so we're going back to the encampment. I wonder why he would run off. From behind. What do you think he thinks, huh? <laughs> the shit! <laughs> 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 I fucking thought you were a fucking spy. Drop huh? your weapons. Yeah, we knew you were pegged you from the beginning. Love that Drop your shot. fucking weapons. <laughs> With a natural 20, Kyler, as you'll come in, this guard was clearly knocked off by his, by the blow to the head, and you have the advantage over him. He's gonna try and less than lethal. <laughs> Kyler, you look back to your left and you'll see the man is ex has opened up his wound and is bleeding out. He's gonna try and patch him if he, he can. Killed himself. You can't. He very thoroughly gouged himself. He's gonna pat him down then, search for anything. Oh, fuck. You don't find anything on him. They were here to do a job and get out quick. Check the other. Doing the same Put here. One. Same on the other one. Nothing on him. Keep an eye out for more. Let's head back. Yeah, you have to tell me, huh? Good job, lads. Make it quick, there could be others. You know what? Do we leave them on the road or we drag them off? Prop them up here. Keep them on the road, they'll be like the rest of the wounded coming back from the front. Hmm. No, I believe in... Okay. Back home we go. Alright, following you. Alright. After me. <clears throat> huh. Okay. We thought it was strange. Very. I heard him say that there were others up ahead. Riders. Oh. Right. Well, we didn't get close enough. So it's either the few or the rubber baron's horses that they have, or this is a third party. I'm going to assume it's the uh, rubber baron, since I was asking I him about- I met father this morning. Mm hmm And he told me specifically that you will never be allowed on the front line. Very good. But when those men approached, I knew something was off. I don't exactly know where they come from. Do you recognize anything they wear? Their voices? Did they say anything to you? They sounded more Grodian. When I asked them about locations of my father, they gave me general specifics about the front. So either they're watching the front or involved in it, i.e. Robert Baron's men. Hmm. It was a third party of bandits or something. I doubt they'd know as much as they did. Yes, but they targeted you specifically, so... Correct. They know if they kidnapped you, we'd also have the assistance removed from your father. <clears throat> I see what they're doing. Bastards. Close, it looks like you get an escort. Cigar. Thank you.
Any excuse to spend more time with you lads? Ha 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 be nice, Fenton, huh? Maybe you two can have your lady talk now, huh? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> His concerns are valid. Oh, some of your cons... Nah, I know. They are mine as well. If I'm well. promoted, I'm making you run. <laughs> I could make him run. You could've made me run, I'd die before I did that. You know better. Do it. They did the night was the most I ran in years. Swim out to one of the ships. <laughs> I'll just dunk my head and knock him up. More responsibility to you, my friend. Great. So I guess, uh, be on the lookout for tricky fuckers like that again. I guess we know that's how they're getting in and out of the city. They were wearing... were they wearing blue, was I mistaken? Yellow. They were... yeah, yellow. yellow. Okay. We'll have any... one that has a full face covering, just re remove it. Our numbers have dwindled <laughs> enough that we'll recognize everyone. And we need a challenge True. as well, ideally. Challenge and response. Huh? Thund Thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Disperse that so amongst you know, them. Since you've already been up that way. Keep it quiet. Hmm? So you have a map on me. I'm turning this in. To the keep. Directly behind the Radad camp, up on the hill. Overlooking bridge. And the cross keys in. I have men stationed up there in a patrol camp. I'll be sending more in the morning. But it's top secret, no one knows about it. If you run into trouble, or anyone does, they can head up there. Understood. But Good only point. if it's the last ditch effort. I'll be having them take a look on everything. That's what we just came back from. I'll have them keep a look. I'll send men out and tell them to keep a look on these imposters, too. Thunder and lightning, that is the challenge and the password. Look for anyone looting the dead. Mm -hmm. Likely how they got the uniforms. Exactly my thoughts. Yeah, that's, that's probably what happened. Alright, Fenton. <clears throat> Finish your train of thought, please. <sighs> the last bit of it... <laughs> Questioning if I even should say this now. Best to get it out there. <clears throat> I want you to look back at all the men that you discovered with Bird Heart, your father. All of them had friends, family, that now had to be informed that they're now dead. I suppose it's a good thing that you're the heir to your house. Too important and busy to talk to the family. Right? So lucky you get to remove yourself from the suffering that both you and your father caused in whatever escapade that was. I'd like to think you both are trying to fight for the right reasons. You helped to get rid of the Capitano and that's a lot in my eyes. So I'd like an answer. Why were you there? And was it worth it? Well, to answer some of your points... No, we don't see this as a political game. We're not trying to get one up on the Imperials. Obviously, we don't want... Nortis or Gradia to be another Imperial strongpoint. We want it to be run by Gradians, right? We want it the true blood 
of Gradia in Nautis to be running the province. And if we keep letting the Imperials bail us out at every obstacle that we get to, they're just going to stay here forever. And Nautis won't be Gradia anymore. You lose everything that is part of it, right? So no, we're not trying to do it in any sort of political scheme or game or anything like that. And yes, I understand. No, I don't. I've not had to do this before. I've not had to order a huge amount of troops like this into battle. I'm not used to the numbers. A more stalwart lord, a major, can look at it and dismiss it. To me, I'm not used to that yet. The numbers, I, they're people to me. So they do weigh heavily when I'm told that we had big losses. I know that they are people. People who live in this town, your brothers, your friends. It weighs heavy on me and I can't imagine how much that weighs on you. But to answer your question... And I'd like a favor from you. One of these days, go with us. And we have to inform families. <sighs> You'll see. Tell me when. I'll be there. Well, I hesitate to say tomorrow due to conditions. Right now. We're delaying any information about the dead unless absolutely necessary. It's smart. If I'm free and if I can and it's a good time, we'll do it. I'll be there. It's only fair. When the robber baron is taken care of. It'll happen. As for your Thank question... You. I'm towing a line of secrecy and protection of the province, but the gist of it. The men were handpicked by my father to go with him to protect an entrance to a, an underground something, city, ruin, I don't know the details. It was believed that down in there, there was something that the elves were after, which is why they're foraying into our territory, which is why they're crossing over the border. Why these rumors of unmarked elves and drow sneaking around here, it's all been because of this place, we can assume. The idea was he and his <coughs> men would hold the opening while a group of volunteers went down to try and figure out what it was that was down there. I don't know exactly what happened to them, but they were massacred. Outnumbered, outskilled, I I wanted to be there, but I was sent back to handle everything else that my <coughs> father couldn't. The people that went down there were I'm my friends. I'm going to take a guess. All the people that were gone for three days? Yeah. We got a few missing persons reports. Wondering where you all went. Some of them didn't come back. At least now we know. A lot of them were my friends. I'll never see them again. As for if it was worth it. We all suffered losses. I'm starting to get how it feels. Yeah. Trust me. For all of us. I've lost. So many people. There was a woman I loved once. This is back in Arrowland. We were defending in a siege. I never... Long story short, she got shot directly through the chest by an Imperial Rifleman. She died before I could tell her anything. I wear... the scarf that was hers and a ring around my neck. 
I don't want that to happen to anyone. No one should feel that pain. Now I'm curious. Do you let that bleed into your actions? On a small scale, Big perhaps. Human? In the way I Is that why we found that Imperial dead on the ship? Not sure I follow. Worth a shot. Never mind. Okay. Um. No, small actions maybe, like when I'm talking to Dario or one of the sergeants or something, I have a bit more venom in my voice because I've seen my friends and family die because of those people. But, and I do promise you this, when it comes to the province, when it comes to its people, when it comes to this war, I understand their necessity for them. I'm not so fucking blinded by my anger towards them to put everyone else at risk. Can you say the same for your father? Yes. He has more venom for them than I do, but he has more of a tactical, military sound mind than I do. And he understands the, albeit unfortunate, importance of them. If we could do this completely fine without regard men, great. That would be ideal. But the Imperiums are here, and they're our best bet of winning this thing. And we all understand that. I'm not trying to sell lives or... Well, more than you know. You're not fighting for our ideas. We know how we are here. You're fighting for Nautis. That's the gist of it. Can we help you? I'm just curious. What's going on at the front gates? Uh, I thought you load out hot. I did have a question for you. Of course, Angus, right? Can you save it for later? If it's just a long. conversation, I, I can go fuck off somewhere. I'll find you afterwards. I'd appreciate that. Just a dumb question, don't worry about it. I'll just get you another time. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. You as well. <sighs> So that's me putting my cards on the table, at least from my side of things. I can't speak entirely for my father, but we have talks, we have plans, and none of it is, let's use the Radod men to, I don't know, bolster what we believe. Dario himself keeps reminding me, we're not friends, we're barely allies, but we want to solve this, and he's right. The shame that, uh... Acceptable. Go ahead. I was gonna say, is that an acceptable answer for you, Fenton? It is. It's only a shame that the actions of another noble... Imperial one now... And their foolhardy attempts to... Do what they think is right, get... A lot more killed. They were desperate to deliver those supplies to Belano. Two hundred people left. Well, we can only look at what actions have been done and the consequences of them. Intent may be well and good. But this is the result we have to live with. Agreed. Our back is to the wall right now. Let's hope we get out of it. Isn't that the truth? I'll talk to the men. I'll get them in line. The information no I'm saying. I've told you is... Obviously not for everyone. I'll so. keep that from them. They'll trust well, me if I say we're things, fighting huh? for the right thing. <laughs> of course. And uh, thanks for oh. coming to help. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know better, huh? We do when we can. We can't we leave one helpless. 
Although you carry yourself better than most. I must go and return this to the keep, of course. As you can see, I'm kind of dying all over the place. So, you two have a great night, huh? And you. Mm -hmm. Take care. You know, I was born in Grodio. Where? Corrugatus. Oh. Yes. Oh. That's... <laughs> yeah. Uh... All I can say is, I hope you got out first. Not fast enough, unfortunately. But, I'm a draw. I have a long life to live. It's a good outlook. Much more suffering ahead. Better than most. It's a long road. I try and... live each day as it should be, I suppose. But... Well, you know how it is. The crushing weight of the world, trying to keep you down and blah blah blah, all that. We'll do our best to maintain this... fragile piece we have so that all these people here have of the day that's worth living for. It is a shame. This is a really beautiful province. To see it plagued by something terrible such as this. Terrible. Could I be honest with you? Of course. Part of the reason I'm still a town guard and I didn't leave with the rest is because somebody needed to be here to stave off the Capitano. You have more honor I would than have I left with them. the Desco. But that also means I am not loyal to the Redoubts. I'm loyal to the Custode because he actually cares for the people. Something my father told me. I don't know if that makes me <laughs> that I unreliable. Funny would say that. Something that my father told me, that he made sure I learned very, very early on, is that our Lord's duty is to his people. First and foremost. The Radars would do well to learn that. The thing that gets me, though, is... <sighs> Hey, Doty. Hi. I tried spooking you. Hi. Hey. The thing that gets me, though, is those boys, when they needed Hadasco the most, he left them. Now, not to say they didn't do terrible fucking shit, but having his guidance... I don't know. What ifs, I suppose. Do you think they would have listened? I don't know. Personally? I didn't know them back Being then. Being born here? No. You say this is the only way. At the time? Yes. They could have done something about the Capitano. They should have. But they refused. For so many years, they refused. That is why I don't like them. Well... Much like a lord, a god, it's duty is to the people too, right? I'd say you're doing your job. Absolutely. Alright, I'm gonna talk to Torty. I won't keep up any more of your time. If you need anything, do find me, Fenton. I will. Good lad. Have a good night. Hello, you. Where have you been? Hello. I've been good, you? Busy. I nearly got fucking murked. Mm. Oh, God. You, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Amateur. Sloppy. Oh. 
two guards came up and they were like, oh, your father wants to talk to you on the front lines. And I'm like, that's suspicious. I'll go get my horse. And they're like, no, no, it's fast. It's better if we walk. And I was like, that's also suspicious. And then I was oh, like... Oh, yeah, that sounds like a setup. And then I was like, wait a minute. Your clothes and your armor don't fit you properly. Hmm. I'm going to go get my knight. <laughs> I disappeared into the shadows and immediately they're like, go get the fucking cunt. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Nice, nice. What about you? Get up to anything fun? Ah, uh, boat ride. Boat ride? That was pretty fun. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I had to investigate the fucking rock that you can see from outside of town now, you know? What's the, that? <laughs> I, yeah, I could have sworn it wasn't there. <laughs> it's, it, I thought, you know, I think it's a mass hallucination that it wasn't there because it looks like a normal ass rock. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Plans for the rest of tonight? Absolutely clear. What do you want to do? I think um, Basil and Soma were having a housewarming party, if you want to duck in and see if that's still going. Or if you wanted to have some one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, Basil is currently comforting Sanders. Uh, I guess no party then. Yeah. I guess it was, I assume tomorrow because Basil was all whiny that Garbom went to bed. So I think she she wants Garbom to be there so she can cook a stew for everyone and everything. That'd be nice. <laughs> Nearly asked, have you what? been drinking? Of course you fucking have. Surprisingly, I haven't drank anything in a little while. That's probably why I'm hiccuping. We need to fix that then. Should we get some drinks? You're right. I need to fix that right now, immediately. <laughs> you want anything? Oh, uh, surprise me. All right. Not okay. I want Nothing's you to know. okay. There's been times where I've called you. And that's because of how old I am. To me, you are. But I have seen how you take courage. How you lead things. You do deserve respect, and that is something you should start asking for. You've tried, and this is a big hurt for you. So again, you do not need to forgive her ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, if you don't want to. Okay? Enjoy an anchor. A bloody anchor. I'll pay for you 40 coppers. Oh, Oops. thank you. Yeah. And then I got my shirt. Can you make me a bloody anchor? I have been dying yeah, sure. very long. Perfect. See? Now we all sit here and we make Sanders feel better after he almost died. Being whipped like that did not normal people be able to deal with. 45, I heard. Forty coppers. I would I would pay for you because you're a beautiful darling dear, but I also bought so much food for other people today. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> or let's me have one drink that's free. Oh wow. It's fucking spoiled. Alright. <laughs> I get a free bill? Oh yeah, sure. No, what you got? Me, give me. Uh, I just gave them something please. strong. Strong? Okay. I want to be conscious mm. for the rest of the day. Grotty and nice. Spice Ooh, Liquor okay. on its way. Ale, please. <laughs> ale, just a, right. how about, uh, just do ale with a little dash of Grotty and Spice to add that strong bit for you. You will be conscious. 
but you still need that hit. Okay? No, I'm not moving my... This right. My little fly. What are you talking about? It'll be in your face. It's fine. Delivery. Appreciate it. Yep, yep. <sighs> so not many people came to my little housewarming thing that I had, but it's okay, because we're having another one tomorrow. Okay. I would have been there, but I nearly got fucking murked, so... <laughs> Mark? What does that... What do you mean? He either hmm? kidnapped or fucking... People tried to kill killed. his ass! Yes. What? So, standing Why? by the gate, talking to Sergeant Fenton about things, trying to, you know, smooth uh -huh. things over. And these guards come up, and they're wearing yellow, and they're like, Your father wants to see you on the front lines. Come with us. And I was like, oh, okay. Let me get my horse. And they're like, no, no. You can walk with us. It's safer. And I'm like, squints, okay. What if if we're worried about safety, why don't I just go through the darkness? No one will see me. And they're like, no, 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 don't be difficult. Come on. I was like, right. <laughs> this is suspicious. And as I'm following That's them, not concerning or, yeah. I notice that their clothes don't fit. And I'm like, so, where exactly is my father? And they gave me some vague detail. And I'm like, no, no, no. Exactly where is he? Another vague detail. I'm like, you don't have his sigil or anything to prove that you're from him? And they're like, nope, fuck you. And I was like, okay. So I just walked into the shadows, and immediately they were like, find the fucking cunt and kill him! And I was like, okay. So... Oh my god! <laughs> what? I... <laughs> I do not envy anyone in positions of power or like this. I... I don't. The poor thing. Yeah. I've had better assassination it is a, It's a big oof, because there's... I, again... If, if that was the robber baron... Probably. Why, why, why do people think he's a good man if he's going out and killing people's sons? He was probably trying to capture me so that he could get my father to stand down just like he has done with the Imperials. To be fair. Yeah, oh, that would said, be smart. The fucking cunt, yeah, know, so there's no fucking the end, way in hell you. I was gonna get captured, so... I don't know what they thought was gonna happen. If they killed you, then they took your body. Then they could send some of your hair and be like, Look, he's in our captivity, fake it out sort of thing. Mm, I'd be a martyr. People would martyr me. And the Redods well, and yeah, people your dad would end the world for you. The Redods and people can't be pissed with me if I'm fucking dead, so really? <laughs> it's a win. Win win. What about you, Basil? Other than not having a party, what have you been up to? Hmm. Ah, just quiet day, actually. Very, very surprised. But I will say, I will keep saying this, I was very lucky for when I left. I passed your father on the way from Bolarno to here. A cart. And then the moment that we parked right out front, that's when all the fighting started. <sighs> if I had been moments later, I... I don't know. I probably would have been stuck in Balerno. Glad you're safe, at least. That place is fortified as hell, by the way. Oh my god. Fucking wall they, um, surrounding the entire thing. They started that as I was leaving. Hmm. Now the robber baron has it. Mm -hmm. Fan fucking tastic. 
Fuck. This is gonna be one of the biggest fuck ups in fuck up history. Mm. Oh Thank you. I very much needed that. <sighs> Still here? <laughs> we fix it. So, actually, Hello. You, you, Normally, this didn't yeah. surprise me for you two. Since A you, wonderful you, evening. I can wait to this. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you, it's nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can't stand the fucking taste. You don't drink it for the taste. <laughs> but, uh, I can give you something more fruity if you though. like. I'm sorry? I can give you something more fruity with fruit smashed into it so it's sweeter. There is just Probably one thing. I, I, used to, I used to buy it all the fucking time. It's called Jalab. It's fucking delicious. Take yeah, yeah I gave him some jalab in his used... drink. I, I, I was going to give you, you a bloody anchor, dude. You were the one who offered the first drink. I don't even know what that first thing even was. I drank. I just gave you something time. strong. It was, you didn't tell me what you wanted. Well, so I don't know what something strong is. Oh, just... oh something strong. Give me jalab, I'll pay for it. No, try try some of that. Okay. Did you talk to that guard? It's, I did. it's not sweet. Okay. It's gonna burn the hell out of your mouth. <sighs> How do it's you gonna do work. That? Do it, do it. To have drink it. Over. I'll numb the pain. Drink Ten it, coppers drink is it. gonna do drink every it. other alcoholic drink. It's just gonna give me really bad heartburn. I. <laughs> drink it, drink it. I tried my best to. It. Hide it until you <laughs> hide it. Oh, you know, I, I, knew, it I knew you would know what to do. It's uh, the special spice or stuff. About the same from the I, feel, I feel like I'm like the spice. Uh -huh, yeah. Ah, uh, he was asking about his men. Yes. Because I feel, I I feel like mm -hmm. if I said anything, I would have slipped up and I wouldn't be able to cover it. I told oh, them yeah, pretty much. as much of the truth as they needed to know. Hmm. Obviously, didn't want to oh. lie to them, but. <sighs> but the discomfort in my mouth takes my mind off the discomfort in my back, so <sighs> That's gonna be a... See? There you go. Perfect. You're exactly welcome. Exactly what you needed. Yes. For me, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... I did help them today, <laughs> so. Good. Mm. I am going to be commissioning you and Marin as a team for a very beautiful all-black outfit. Just gonna whisper in your ear. I hope them up, but I'm okay. the near the uh, Dear God. So it's on preserved. Husky said. See, I'm going to be <laughs> more of a menace to society. I didn't realize you were part of that. Good job. You know, mm -hmm. that's all I want. <laughs> they need no, a mate. Like, oh, make sure they're right. Spot in. Right. See, why not? Yeah. I love these leathers that you made me. Mm -hmm. And that's I love them. I think I want something more flashy. I mean, and I am willing to pay. Okay. I've been here for two hundred years. I see. <laughs> you, you, you flashy. No, no, no. It's clear they want to make use of the soma chair. I get it. It's okay. I'll be the first My one. Chair. It's okay. Some... <laughs> uh -huh. No, no. I need to be able to walk around you? in it. No. Yeah, probably about the history of this <laughs> land. Right? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, totally. Sorry, must run the situation. It? Where do I sign up? Uh, you, like you, that, you got nice. a while to wait. I'll let you know. It's okay. Yeah, apparently there's a long, long to come line. To talk to me. Listen, I will. Like there's a drow that you know said willing to wait, so... <laughs> I'd honestly, I'd love to get no to know more about you. Yeah, you'd like the color purple. I'll catch up sometime. I I'm a bit of a secretive person, but... Let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Had to do with Vezrin. Yeah, Vezrin. Really doesn't like talking about his mm. past. No. I know it hurts. But I understand. I, I know why. So don't worry. Hmm. I also, uh... need to talk to the Major about it. Pat, Pat. You wanna check out my roof? I got a hatch to my roof now. Not climb it. Why do you have a... Are you coming on to me? No, what? Oh, roof, roof. <laughs> that, that, I like actual roof. Sure, time. let's go. Yeah, actual roof. Yeah, yeah, make yeah, it, yeah. Make it the elf hangout time. I thought you were, uh, you were going to the Let's go. <laughs> well, I need to, uh... 
I need to go somewhere else. So. Have a good night. I see. Have a good night. <laughs> I never actually managed to get onto this roof right here because, like, it's just awkward enough to try to jump onto, you know? Right. So now Marcus made me a hatch that goes to my roof so I could have extra airflow. But we can climb up it. Mm. Come on in. Mm. Alright. Yeah. Come on up. You can do it. <laughs> I did that with one hand, by the way. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. I'm to get onto this roof. This is cozy. Yeah, isn't this nice? Yeah. I managed to get on almost every other roof. Here, it looks like if we're careful. There we go. Up. Yeah! <laughs> ah, this is a light. There we go! Oh, Torchy brand new angle! By the moon. Very nice. <laughs> This is a great this roof. Is great. Yeah, very central. Isn't Hold that? On. This is good. He's a drow. He can see us. <laughs> that guy's a drow. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's he's always like he he. I'm secretive. I walk around at night and I don't use a light. Oh, you don't know what about me. I'm like you're a fucking drow. Shut up. Well, that was <laughs> you know, fucking lined with money and buying potions. True, but then he did pop off his helmet and he was a drow, so I knew it. Called it. So you know, it's technically illegal to be up here. Technically illegal, yeah, but I mean, like, if it, if they didn't want it to, like, be a problem, they wouldn't have made the view so good, you know? Fair play. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he 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 he. Oh, oh, this is so good, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I, I used to sleep on roofs. Growing up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Either Must have sucked or... when it rained. Uh, yeah, it's not great. <clears throat> <laughs> but my group, we found Thankfully this it rained so rarely here. abandoned building once, and we um, turned the attic into like a little hidey space for us. That was nice. Ooh. We had a uh, nice, nice, hatch nice. similar to yours that we got onto the roof. And we could uh, just see all the ocean and all the boats coming in and out of port. Oh, that's so cool. Long time Love ago. Love that. Time. Yeah. How long ago? Like a hundred or something like that? I forget how old you are. Um, That would have been 60 years ago. 70. Oh, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Wild. I had another drow call me baby drow. Another, another one. one. How many drow mm -hmm. in this city? Not that many, but they all seem to know me. So, let's see, there's you. There is mysterious guy. Uh, that, that's Sevatar. Um, me... Viper, um, that bastard. That, that, those are the ones I remember. Oh, uh, the fucking slave guy, uh, suck on this. Um, yeah. His name is Suck on this? Yeah, Suck on this, but you know. How, how can you not? How can you not? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yeah. This is quite a melting pot of dry, though. And to be fair, you do stand out quite a mm. bit. Oh, 
gosh, I wonder why that is. Is it my personality? Yeah, it's probably. Hmm. Nice. What could it possibly be? Yeah. <laughs> It's your the eyes. The fact I can't sneak. It's those, those beautiful red eyes. eyes. Everyone's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> it is nice up here. It's good because it's higher than most of the other ones, so you get the breeze, you know, from the ocean. Get the breeze, and then you also got a really good view of Vez's shop, and also the fucking tavern and Main Street. This is the fucking roof to be. You need to start charging people to come up oh, here. Yeah. Make a fortune. <laughs> come up to my totally not a legal activity rooftop. <laughs> Next step is the clinic, if we can get up on top of that. Oh god. Well, I'm sure if you jump up on all the rocks in the back, right? If you because like I can make it to the um the tavern roof. Easy. Super easy. I just did it earlier. It's the worry about being Almost shot fell while to my death cuz god scared me. Yeah, exactly. Cuz if you get up there, you're only one good hop away from the fucking wall and <laughs> yeah, they're going to take you down. <laughs> You should see the view from the top of the keep. You see everything. Oh, oh God, I want to. If I knew, if I didn't know it was going to be a utter disaster, I'd be like, could you take me up to the court one day? That's the worst idea ever. Do not do that. They ever. already hate uh, me. But, you know, then. Oh, no. I'd only make it worse. <laughs> I know you guys hate me, but look at this one. Surely you can't hate me any more than yeah, this. Yeah, I'm the new target. Hello. <laughs> Amazing. God, could you imagine me trying my best? Oh no. Show me your best kids. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Yeah, I practiced so hard. Like, a few, was it four to three years ago? I um. I had to do it at the party that I got tossed overboard for. So, yeah. Oh. Well, I was honestly expecting you to fall I, over. I nailed the curtsy. No, no. See, I, I was aware of all the <laughs> tiles. So. I did step in some jam, though. So that's wild. I don't think that's jam. <sighs> well, shit. <laughs> It's a very sick Illegal seagull. activities rooftop. <laughs> oh god. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. How are things? I haven't really been able to catch up, catch up with you. Things are going okay. They're good. Um. Oh boy. Had the weirdest talk with Venora. That's for sure. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I just have to assume everyone thinks that uh, the Inquisitor and I are a thing. I just have to assume that now. Um, are you? Oh, there's a light. Uh, well, he says sweet nothings, but it's not like we're like, <sighs> it's not like the same as what I had with Vaz, right? You know, so it's like, it, 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 I'm, I'm. Eating up all of the everything because it's nice and good. It's, it's good company, but I mean, like, he's going—he's doing the job. He's passing through, obviously. It, 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 yeah, you know. Torty getting flustered. What the? Fuck? Doesn't happen. I'm very not getting often. flustered. I just don't know how to describe things. As long as you're being careful. Hmm. I I am I'm trying my best. Well, um, we'll know if we can trust them soon enough. We ended up rather close, and he noticed my scar on my neck, so. Hmm. 
Ja. I don't think he'll do anything of it, but, you know, now you know, just in case he's, you know. I'll keep keeping an eye on you. Yeah. Mm. Is it the danger? Is that what gets far you as I know. attracted to it? <laughs> I, I don't you, think you've so. Wound up, well, so. As far you as know, I've known, you've wound up with Vezrin, who you know. Mm -hmm. And now this Inquisitor guy. Okay. To be fair, to be main fair. reason that, like, to be fair, um, like, first day I met Vazran, he was like, oh, can I look at you? And, like, I was like, okay, here, offer me your hand real quick. And he'd be like, yeah. This is what he did to me, motherfucker. He pulls me in and like looks at my spots and it's everything. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> oh. yeah, it's a power play, I guess. Fuck it. Well, um, but yeah. So and then, um, I don't know. It was just nice and stuff. You know, it's so easy for me to like somebody because all they have to do is be decent. That is how low the bar is! <laughs> Torsi, you, you deserve a lot more than decent. Eventually, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> no, you're worth, girl boss. No, you're worth. Uh, well, until then, I feel like I, I, I should be allowed to enjoy all the little pleasantries I can get, Oh, you're you still know? young. You have a whole life ahead of you. Have a little fun. Exactly. Just I have so much of my life ahead of me if the war doesn't kill me. To. Yeah, I appreciate that. <sighs> I do. Even if I get frustrated at that, <laughs> the fact that knowing that Venora assumes it, she, she, okay, so the conversation went like this. He makes you happy. That's okay. I want you to pursue that, even if he's going to kill me later. What am I supposed to do with that? What? You have a unique taste oh in men, Tori. Let's just put it as that. Oh my god. Uh. <sighs> oh. Oh. Roof's got a hole in it. You okay? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. uh. Well. I oh, yeah. But uh, your dad's out of uh, the clinic. And immediately into the front lines. Up, I... Apparently, that's the first I heard of him. Really? Didn't even say hello to me. Uh, <laughs> so busy. He can't take doing a, thing. a moment to breathe. What the fuck? It's a good thing he was there though, because <sighs> soon after the robber baron started his push, I would have liked to have talked to him though. I need uh... need to know that I'm doing okay. I guess. Yeah. From somebody that doesn't know anything, you're doing fucking way better than anyone else I would have assumed to take position. Like, I'm just saying. Thanks, Tosi. I trust you more than a lot of people. I know it doesn't come off as strong as a compliment, but like, I don't know anything, but I still trust you 1000%. No, I understand. Thank you. This is a very sweet yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have negative two speech craft. This sucks for me trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been in rooms of lords that all fucking hate me, and I'm trying to. I'm giving them promises and, and negotiating and then threatening to arrest, and and I'm looking over the front lines, and I, I never know if it's right until it either goes okay or fucking terribly. 
I never get like a that was the best thing you could have done and it's very obvious, you know, I never really know and it's just I don't know, to have him be like you did well it would have been nice since I'm doing it all with his name, you know his reputation yeah so I don't know well, I mean, if you look at it in a way, you would at least know if you're doing really, really bad. Well, since I've been in charge, we lost a lot of ground. The men hate me, they think they're dying needlessly, and the population now hates me too, because they believe this was my failure. So... It's not even your fault, though. It's fucking Ladia. Oh that, my god. But they don't, and... To, to shift the blame and be like, no, 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 it's loud. It just sounds weak. So I just take it on the chin and... Yeah, I got I mean, it's, they're, it's, they're allowed to mm. feel that way. I mean, I'm sure many of them are upset and a lot of their feelings are valid. But I don't know. It's hard. But, it all sucks. You don't of, deserve that. You deserve way better. Part of the job, though, isn't it? That's why I'm never going to be anywhere leader or captain or nothing. I'll pull ropes. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. One day at a time, huh? Yeah. Handle those problems too. You know, the worst thing about all of this is it's not my fault, but the buck stops with me and I have to deal with it all. Hmm. There have been so many fuck-ups recently, I just... God. Not all of them are mm. mine, even. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry for venting, I just... No, Don't no, really please. I feel like I vented to you way more. So, like, you, we, we still have a deficit to work with. You're good. You're fine. <laughs> it's not transactional, but I understand. <laughs> no, I know. I'm making a joke. <laughs> Did you actually wave back? Yeah. Yes. They can't see you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, excellent. That's like a lot of work. <sighs> Amazing. I should um, head back to the study and recuperate a bit. Oh, all right. This was really fun, though. I love drop time. It was really fun. <laughs> we'll do it more often. Hell yeah. Oh, if we jump on to this balcony, then we can just stairs down. Oh, okay. I see the issue now. Yeah. Have, you, have you tried to go in from? Yeah. Oh, I see the issue. Yes. It's very hard. It's very That's hard. Quite difficult. <laughs> All right, Tordy. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, you two. Good night. So I have to. Were you have flipping me off while on the roof? No, no, of course not. Why would I do oh, that? I thought you. Were... I thought you were on the roof doing this, and I was like, what the fuck? But how much harder do you think I am? Of course I wouldn't do that. I was hoping to catch her as Sevatar, but... It would have been weird for Kyle to be like, alright, I'm going now, and Savadar would be like, oh, hello. <laughs>
Jesus, nearly five. 